Not on me. Hey guys, so I'm just doing um, a video on vision placement. So in your last game when you guys invaded, your wards are right here. I, will I just want you to notice the vision that you're getting from these wards. I have a target dummy here for when the jungler pulls raptors. And does them here, so before he goes into the river, and I have a, uh, I have a target dummy here for when the jungler does red and goes top. And these are where your wards were the last game. Level 1 you put one here, and then level 2 Oriana put one right here. What you should be trying to do is putting your wards like as far on the edge as possible. So now you can actually see the, you can actually watch him do red buff now, before the, the vision line was up here. So he could be doing red buff and you'd have no idea when he actually finishes it. And when Oriana warded, your ward should either be here. So that... Even if he comes along here, you can still see him. If he pulls the rap if he pulls the raptors here, you'll be able to see him too. But after he does these raptors, if he goes this way even a little bit, you'll be able to see it immediately. And alternatively, if you put it here, then you can see when he goes left from red buff. So it's just important that you put your wards in the right place. Uh, also, when you guys invaded last game, after you put your wards down, you don't have to leave. You can just stay here and do the red buff. I know Nar was like sitting right here and he's like a juicy target. But uh, what you can do is you just invade, you put your wards down, the bot lane recalls, and then you just do the red buff. And you. Because what happened last game is you guys went all the way back to your red buff, which they warded. They had a ward on your red buff because they counter invaded you. And so you just put yourself into vision. And so Lee Sin knew that you didn't start his red. Whereas if you actually had done the red, then he wouldn't know whether you started blue or red. But since you showed yourself, he knew that he could go from his blue to his red. We do. And it also didn't prevent him from going topside. The biggest part of this strategy is forcing him to the bottom side of the map. I mean, it's good that you see him with these, with these wards. You get to see when he crosses over. But if you actually just do this red buff, and then do these raptors, and then go over and do your blue buff for the level 3. We do what we must. If he comes topside, he gets nothing. There's nothing for him to take. He's forced to go bottom side, and now there's no way that he can go top. So yeah, vision placement. And think about just actually doing the red buff instead of uh, instead of going all the way back across the map where you have no idea what they've been doing on the other side of the map.